Welcome back everybody. I'm Tyler Parsons breaking down another golf performance tip for you. Today something a little different because I like different and I want to keep you on your toes. I've got our speed stick here. It doesn't have to be a speed stick. You can use a driver. If you've already got your super speed golf sticks, you can use one of those. What we're doing is breaking down different variations and ways for you to swing to pick up that club head speed to engage those different muscles, make them work, make them fire, sync it all together and hit those booming drives you're looking for. Go on, do that warm up. Let's dive in and get started. To start with, we've got different segments that we want to hit to make work differently, certain aspects. We've got to hit down onto the knees, we want to swing. Now, a lot of you are going to want to sit down into those hips. I want you to stay tall. I want you fine with those glutes to stay up real tall. I want to have to work on the hip flexors. We're really going to be rotating around this core because we can't use the lower body for as much ground force as normal. And this really is going to make that torso want to rotate. So great for those shoulder blades. Again, stay nice and tall, get set, get a really big turn, go on and swing through. It's probably going to feel like you're going to over-rotate, but swing nice and hard. We're not swinging at a ball, so that's really good. It throws out having to feel like you've got to make good contact. You can go through and do the set number that you feel comfortable with. I would normally do 10. You can start with five. Now, as we've touched on many times, we need that body to stay even. We also, the main reason for that is to keep that brake system. Again, you're probably tired of hearing me talk about it, but as we pull through, I can only accelerate as fast as that body wants to decelerate. Switch those hands, work the other direction, and we'll spin around and show you. Again, nice and tall, there's our load. Swing through, don't go to here, and swing around that way, okay? Great way for you to start. Let's move on to the next one. So the first variation, again, works on those hips a little bit. We're gonna go into a half kneel, and this is really gonna restrict how we allow the hips to open up even more. So we're going from here, what I wanna do is swing around, really work on that nice big turn. You can see, this allows me to really open up and get a huge backswing. And then I sort of hit a wall, which forces that upper body to keep going. Shoulder blades have to protract and retract and come around. Same, so we don't have to swing this way, but we'll switch up the knees. Go this other way. Nice big turn. Try to even it out. Go extremely hard. For those faithful who have been following along for a long time, you've seen some sort of this variation. We've done a ton with the medicine ball. What we're going to do is grab our club from here, get set up in that golf posture, and make a really big turn. Why are we doing this? As I turn, the higher I take this left hand, the more it's going to push back and cause me to open up on the right. So again, I'm having to brace and work that midsection. I'm working on that shoulder plane. I'm really pushing back. So I'm stretching out in the pec major and minor to help open up that chest. I'm also going to be working on that shoulder blade. We're really feeling it on this right side, allowing it to set back and in. Turn back and through, same thing. You can see I'm just holding it for a second. As I get to the top, I'm really trying to push, but opening up that chest because I see a lot of you in your swings only getting to here. So we have you know, possible tight lats, some inhibited traps, poor torso rotation, might be lacking that thoracic extension. This is going to help hit all the above so that as you turn, we can get to that extremely good position that we see all those long hitters on tour get into. So now we've opened that up, let's go on and utilize it. I want to go one handed, a nice big turn. Focus on your sequencing here. We definitely want to see all that separation to where these hips go around. You can tell. 
My shoulders and upper body really haven't moved much. So I'm going from here, separating, down and through as you get more and more comfortable with it. Go on and really swing and let that go, okay? Same thing on the other side. I've done a variation of this. I know that you've seen, but showing you the importance of why you have to start doing this to make that body work for everything to fire, to work on those muscles that you're not using, and that's why we had that sore club head speed. So I've got one more for you that is definitely gonna help pick that club head speed up and make your playing partners wonder what in the world you've been doing. Okay, so probably the most important piece, it's not really gonna be uh, making you swing faster. This is more of hitting the movements, getting in those right positions, tying everything together. So we shut down the lower body, we restricted the hips. Let's utilize all that and make it work. What we're looking to do is with both hands, we want to get up to the top. Again, I want those hips to go. But again, if you stare at all those longest hitters, you're gonna see the elbows tucked in. They've got this slight tilt back with the spine to allow them to hit up. But more importantly, what that's doing is I'm really having to pull and if I get really close on this, and I'll try to get a close up of it, you can see that this is really having to pull, it's working. We're just absolutely destroying that midsection while those hips go. You can take note on that right foot. Again, those long, long hitters. Bubba, JD, Justin, Dustin. We can just keep going on and on. It's not really that they're just shifting over, like everyone wants to say, but you can tell you know, you've got this right foot that's almost pushing up while they're over, and that's allowing those hips to really fire open, okay? So a huge key for you, get into that position and practice dropping down in through there. The foot will take care of itself, but feel like that head's staying still, elbows coming down, clubs behind. Again, once you get comfortable with it, try not to take out the fan. We'll get to here, and you can really just pull. It takes care of itself. The body's working together. A lot of times you'll hear those long players say, the harder I swing, the straighter it goes. It's because they're into that slot. Centrifugal force is helping, taking care of it. The harder they open up and leverage off the ground, the more it just comes straight smack into the ball. They don't have to worry about the release of the club face. They're not trying to time it with their hands. They're rotating that body. That is the key. That is the golf performance that we're looking for, so I'm trying to get you to do. So give me some insight, let me know what you wanna see more of. I'll even take what you don't like seeing, but let's get you longer drives and get you playing better.